food class, going into uh, wild shape or beast shape options would have been a lot better. Uh, gotcha. Although I can still do beast shape, I just I just get it at a much slower rate than. Yeah. Because mm. yeah, because in five B and three point five polymorph is like you becoming the creature itself and everything. You take on its full stats. Yep. And all the physical but, stats, uh, all the bonus health. You don't get any bonuses from magical items or anything at all. None whatsoever. Correct. Yeah. In this one, I can do things like I can cast. Well, you can still cast mage armor on like a T Rex. Uh, as long as it's not. Okay, they said I can gain the benefits, the passive benefits from like a ring of protection, but I can't get it from bracers of protection because the bracers provided AC naturally um. as an armor slot and the magical component. So, and that's considered part of my armor where the ring is not. So, I kind of want that cloak of resistance now too. Oh, it's because it's braces of armor. Yeah. Yeah, one nice thing is that, from my understanding, regardless of the cast level of the item, if I don't meet that cast level, it's only a plus five. Like it doesn't, uh, it doesn't increment. It doesn't get bigger. That's nice. Yeah. So at this point, as long as I have the money, I think is always needed. You always have to have the money. You can't scoot, skirt around that. But it's such That's a fine. The raw materials of it and everything, but then anything else you can just ignore completely if you're if my spell goes high enough. Maybe if we did that, uh, Chad would just say like we'd have, like if you wanted to see if we could help you, like you could, if Chad would allow it, you could, it could maybe just be like I'd have advantage or whatever, like a bone or whatever it'd be. Uh, well the way aid works in this right, it's one like a is plus it's... two, right? Yeah. Yeah. I could speed up the creation of the item to four hours of work per 1,000 GP, because normally it's eight hours per 1,000 GP by increasing the DC by five. That's neat. That's quite useful. I don't know why I didn't think it was an enhancement. Yeah, because right now my spell cost 14, so normally it's... I can essentially cover two um, two extra plus fives added on to spell, uh, the item creation. So two requirements non-bet I can match just with my base bonus. Well, I can provide the bull strength, you can provide the yeah. dex there, and... I'm sure we can get the constitute uh book Yeah Boxes I, plan, endurance. I plan to buy a bunch of scrolls in the future for various crafting items. As, unless I die then I probably I don't know what I'll do for I don't know. Yeah, a different character, I understand. Yeah. Suddenly death has been very relevant to you ever since that last ride, huh? Yeah, it kinda just flashed in front of my eyes like, alright, I got a roll. So now I have two characters that depending on when, if Richard dies, depending on what level my new character would be, will determine which one I play. I get that. I because it's they're me, both prestige classes. Because I want to try the prestige uh, classes. And one I can't take it until I'm level like eight, or I'm not going to be taking it to level. I can take it at minimum at level seven. The other one I could take it like right now if I were to die. Like I or the next level, at level six, I'd be able to take a first level into it. But it would be all, both of them are going to be like similar alignments as each other, but they're going to be completely different from Richard. They're going to be part of the Empire, and they're going to be like kind of one of them is going to be super hellbent on eradicating devils and any dark magic of any kind, because it's a Hell Knight. Yeah. And then the other one's just a stalwart defender who's just going to be like part of the Empire army and is just going to be like all about protecting his comrades and such with a giant tower shield and a stone golem as a minion.
which that one's the ones I'm most excited for, but I don't really get into the fun part, like the cool part of it that I want to do until later on. Yeah, I hear you. I very much like the idea of just having a tower shield and just looking at someone, hey, stand behind me, for I am Brahm. Oh, I mean, once I can turn into an earth elemental, I can be on retreat underneath you. <laughs> I, uh, and also with that one, I will also have an earth elemental minion permanently that I can just summon oh, at will nice. from being a stone lord. Yeah, stone lord paladin. I am excited for uh, level 8 because um, oh I don't like that no oh, I don't like that at all sorry I'm getting used to the Skyrim controls uh, uh, because I'll be able to as an, it's one of those things where like you can transform into a myriad of that you can do something for a certain number of rounds per day that don't have to be consecutive mm -hmm. and it's shape-shifting so I like the idea of like oh wall made of stone <laughs> a as one like fluid action turn into an earth elemental walk through the wall oh uh, area got jump air elemental 90 foot or 60 foot fly back to human that kind of stuff and that's through polymorph that's through uh the class specialization for trans uh and wizards oh, neat. transmutation school focus subsection shape shape huh nice so yeah the looking through the Stone Lord class or uh, archetype like for Paladin, we have to be a dwarf for it. I really like the whole thing because it's all about like stone, like rock and such theme. But then at level five, you get to summon. You may summon a small earth elemental to the side as a as a Paladin calls her mount, and then the earth Morning. elemental Morning. changes Morning. sizes. Yeah. It increases in size as you gain level. So at level eight becomes medium, level eleven it's large, level. 14 it becomes huge, level 17 it becomes a greater, and at level 20 it becomes an elder. Earth elemental. Nice. You know, I, I was looking at the elementals and looking at the rules for polymorph, and honestly, if I just wanted to like have elemental stuff, it would have been better just to be a summoner. Like, damn. Yeah. But it's just you yourself want to be the elemental. You don't want to just have... Well, I wanted to be a shapeshifter, and I just thought elementals would probably be the most, uh, like, versatile. Yeah. I turned out to be extremely wrong. <laughs> What's the difference between a shifter and a normal druid? I know a shifter is like... Oh, never mind. there's no spells for a shifter. Mm, yeah, it's all... Just full on polymorph. Or all animal. All the time. Yeah. The guy had actually said a uh, sorcerer is actually the most preferred because there's a shape shifting sorcerer subtype. And uh, under the rules of polymorph, a lot of the sorcerer abilities don't get removed while in polymorph. So you, and the example was there is a one of these sorcerer builds is you can grow claws. Uh, as like a base feature to give yourself a natural weapon and you can be a snake that grows claws no 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 nothing else required so that leads me to understand that I can use my tusk I can grow my tusk weapons as well but it's isn't that not going to be because of sorcery no, it's 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 the nature of how they have the ability. Uh, do you know what the name of that archetype is? Because I'm looking uh, at the whole I list and there's not any that jump out as like shape shifting. Yeah, one sec.
Oh, I'm sorry. Arcanist. Um, par he said it's on par with the Sorcerer, but, but without the Bloodline. Uh, and it's, uh, the Brown Fur Transmuter Archetype. It's Arcanist. Oh, Arcanist is a hybrid. It's a hybrid of Sorcerer and Sorcerer. Yeah. Which is a... Cure Sister House. So which one is it? The Brown Fur Transmuter Archetype. And, uh, I haven't looked into it, but supposedly all of its abilities can be, like, used. And they also said the alchemist, uh, mutagens can all be used. No, that makes sense, because, like, you, the mutagens are changing your entire, like, the entire, like, your yeah. cells. And the transmute is also like that as well. Well, that's how they're wording it in this one. It's not, you're not actually becoming the creature. You just kind of, like, for example, it specifically says in the first couple of, like, Earth Elemental stuff, I don't get the immunity to bleed or crits or stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to be, I can turn into a rock that bleeds. I don't, so I'm looking at the brown part. There's only three abilities for it. I don't see anything that says that it can still use, unless it's just the word, the way like, the wording is for it. It's just the wording of polymorph stuff. It has, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. How do I make a sorted buckle? I can make fur boots right now! Oh boy! Oh, never mind, I'm dumb. I'm at the wrong fucking station. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> Let's play this game. He played it on uh, Xbox. Yeah, I'm really struggling with the controls a bit. I gotta like not use the mouse when I'm in a menu, or, or it's just kind of a bit of a nightmare. I never had problems using the mouse when I'm in menus and that. It just doesn't seem to react quite fluid, or like not what I'm expecting. Hey, it's been a while since I've played that. Sorry, do you want to go to bed? It's getting late. <laughs> Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Boy, did I not miss that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't miss your favorite line. Catch for you. Sworn to carry a burden. I am sworn to carry a burden. Yeah, well, don't those burdens fucking kill you, Jesus? <laughs> I know this blacksmith is supporting the Imperials. I'm glad he's not questioning why I'm selling him so much Imperial armor. Probably bloodstain. Did you steal the Imperial armor? No, I killed them. 
him. I killed lots of Imperial. I always choose the uh, Stormcloak guy at the beginning because I like getting the free Imperial Guard captain. Although I do miss the uh, mechanic for uh, Fallout New Vegas where you could wear somebody's armor and it would become their faction. Yeah, you would disguise yourself. This isn't La La Land. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone recognizes me on site. I'm some random fuck from out of the country. Oh, that's... that... that dude in Imperial Armor? Clearly not an Clearly the Dragonborn. Hasn't even killed the dragon yet. Uh, I think it's just that people... it's probably common that people steal from <laughs> the Imperials well, and stuff. That's a... that's a relevant, like, reoccurring plot point in, like, random encounters and a couple of quests that people disguise as, uh, faction. Yeah, like you can just walk around and be like the people walking with like a prisoner, and they'll be dressed as Imperials, but then they're not. Whatever. Yeah. So, but we just joined the Imperial Legion last night. Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably gonna join them in this playthrough. Because, uh, I don't quite All remember. the factions suck in Skyrim. <laughs> the two to choose from. You know, I actually, uh... Saw something recently, and I saw it again just today when I was looking through the mods, that, uh... They, they actually, the Civil War quest was a whole much more elaborate. And, and it all got cut last minute. Yeah, and, and it all, took away a whole like it took away like all like the actual reasoning to like care about the factions at all. Yeah, and all those files are still in game. Even like the cinem like the scripted events are all still in game. Hmm. They just uh, and there's mods that just turn them off. That's kind of cool. Die, filthy empire! Die! Did he go to bed? All right. Who's detecting me? Is there a chicken nearby?
Ah uh, yes, I'd like to upgrade my bow at the grindstone. Just gonna... I mean, yeah, you just gotta grind it on Dan, make it nice and pointy. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what makes the bow better. Yes. Like buying daggers on, uh, Jin. On, like, all the ranged all champions. The ADCs. Buying daggers. Dog daggers and long swords. I don't have enough gold. Sounds like you gotta murder some people then. Yeah. You know, when I was looking for the mods today, I saw tons, dozens of mods improving the quality of faces, specifically on the one. Now that, now that this biddy's escorting him, I see why. <laughs> yeah, Fallout 4 also has a lot of those too.
Boy, he sells a wooden sword. The mightiest of all weapons. Just like how that one kid in uh, New Vegas is running around with the uh, orbital laser target. Oh, shit. I have no idea that it can summon a beam. Is there any way to get him to just like no. activate it and him use it? I wish. Or at least not in the base game, is not. I've tried before. I tried going to Helio, setting it up and turning it on and everything, and then... But no luck. Too bad. Yeah. Sir, don't mind me. I'm just snooping around your shop. Just go back to the front desk. But yet, you have a basket. They're lovely head decorations. God damn. I already have the quest to go check on the kid who's doing the dark sacrament. I haven't even left her. <laughs> <laughs> I always like want to avoid that quest because it's kind of like a quest at night. The game was like, no, you're, you're not avoiding it now. I, I talked to the first bartender. He's like, I heard about a boy who made the dark sanctum sacrament. <laughs> I'm like, oh. That's not...
So the uh, the child that runs the uh, tap, I usually try and steal her orcish bow. A little bit of, in like a safe scum way. Jimber, you're stealing shit and you're yelling at me for stealing shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you tell I'm Lazy what happened? I'm exiled from Nathan's <laughs> I wasn't ex uh, expelled. What, what's the problem? The problem. But I currently have a zero percent chance to steal this. Overseer's it. personal journal. I should probably go for it. Vault 76 was built to take the best and the brightest. Just take it and run. But she has an elven dagger too. The societal preservation. She's sleeping in bed with a torch in her inventory. Blitz. It's dangerous. Alright, she's gotta be prepared. Never know when the burglar might break in. Yes, e experimenting on vault residents was ethically wrong. But the goal of finding the most suitable people to repop... <laughs> <laughs> As I'm pickpocketing her. <laughs> oh boy, it's Cram and Blamco Mac and Cheese. We can't save everyone. That's what they always told us. And I thought, I still think, they were right. vault found out that I knew. I thought I was going to be fired or arrested, but instead they confided in me. Vault 76 was going to be a control vault. No experiment. I was so relieved. But they told me I was going to be assigned to Vault 101 in Washington, D.C. I had to leave West Virginia. My people behind. I couldn't let them do that. No matter what it took. I'm so sorry, Evan. I wish I could say I would have made another choice. That I would have picked dying in this house together when the bombs fell. I never stopped thinking about you. And I'm not giving up until I find out what happened. If you're not here, then there's only one other place you'd want to be. The mines. Press tune pump action shotgun. It's amazing. Don't bother. I'm just gonna shoot a wall and hit more garter. Chava. No bad shot. Boy, that I miss this game. It's like the game you were having me play TD, just like 
nicer and intuitive too. But not as many options. Yeah, not as many options. If I can make any spell and any spell you want, put it on any item you want. Oh, she's wanting me to back off. I see. You know, every time Jimmy goes to sleep, we get attacked by Dark Brother. <laughs> Sounds like some fun times. I've upset some people. Sounds like it. Did you kill what? a cow? No, I just talked to them. I was like, hey, I admire you. And they're like, oh, shut up, you filthy yeah. slave. Yeah, you're, you're a slave race, but you can't talk to people. Sounds like they're just being rude. You should try giving, talking to them again. Maybe they'll I did. lighten up to you again. I was actually trying to level my speechcraft off a guy by like chain talking to him. Mm -hmm. And he did like that they will actually attack you if you do. So, so I was like, <laughs> well, this guy looks like he's much stronger than me, so I'm gonna stop. I've actually provoked people into attacking me so I don't uh all right, get the guards pissed off at me. It's great. That's gonna be what one of my char backup characters for D&D &D does. It's the closest thing to her taunt in the game. These aren't upgrade. Why are you telling me these are upgrade? Block the bot. Hello, puppy. How's it going, puppy? Who's you won't find anything like that in Morrowind. Cats or dog. Yeah. In this game, I'm summoning a, wolf, a spectral wolf. The other game, I'm summoning a goddamn skeleton ghost. Timba, that skeleton screams is at awesome. Me. I summon it. It goes. I mean, what else would you summon? Gosh. Uh, I can also summon uh, a scout. Uh, I use the scroll to summon what I understand is one of the most powerful enemies in the game. I'm like something. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Daedra in the sewers, and I summon a golden saint to fight. Jesus. <laughs> we were, uh. We were. We had like 10% uh, health left. We were getting our asses kicked, and I was like. Here, I'll summon this thing at one shot. It's like backhanded the daydream. <laughs> Damn. I was like, that was a scroll. Well, you. Also, I, if we were in a tight enclosed quarters, mm -hmm. and then I summoned a flame matronach, thinking it would work just like the one in Skyrim. Fucking hurt nah. me. 
massive explosion. Just huge fireballs almost killed both of us. Not the guy we were fighting. Not the like mini boss we were fighting, but the uh the my our own play Matronok. Nice. Oh, babe. I'm dead. Did you like the Imperial so much? Why do you hate wearing their armor? I don't. I just hate that first armor piece. It's terrible. I hate all their armor. So we got like 10 pieces of armor. Sounds like he hates them all. We should probably ask G. <laughs> I'm sneaky. 